What up, Cool Cats and Doggies? This is my top five non-Nike SB dunks of the year. Let me get these out the way. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell to catch all the cops we have on the channel. At the end of the video, make sure you leave a comment below if you bang with it. I'm gonna do some honorable mentions, but these are my top five of the year. That's not SBs, okay? So they're still good, nice dunks. They're, they're nice dunks, they're just not SBs. And make sure to check out all social media platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, I'm out here. But let's hop into the review of this nice little recap of 2023. Mm -hmm. Now I wanna do some honorable missions. If you haven't saw my top five SB dunks of the year, go check that video out as well. But I have three honorable mentions. Typically, my honorable mentions are shoes that I don't have. But because I only did five and not 10 for the regular dunks this year, I actually have two dunks that I have that are getting honorable mentions. One, is the Montreal bagel joints. This joint is definitely iconic more to probably Canadians, but I like this shoe a lot. I like the details on it. It's just a regular premium dunk, but I think they did really nice work with this. And if I had the special box, maybe I would have it in my top five, but I don't. This is a really clean dunk that you can get for affordable price right now. Like I said, if you didn't watch my review on this, go peep that, but uh, these are super clean. That will be one of my top three honorable mentions. The other one, okay, because I, I, I went ham on dunks this year, will be these going fishing joints. And I don't know which one this is. Is this the rainbow trout joint? I had the blue pair that I gave to my little brother. And then I also have the green pair. Why is my camera going crazy right now? This is a nice clean pair. I don't fish, but the green makes me feel good inside. One of my favorite colors, you know, Bergang. Y'all see the hoodie. And then obviously, it has some nice detailings. It was a nice little release on the sneakers app, even though I really hate that scratch thingy. And also, um, yeah, you can get spliffy in these. These are tough. So those will be my top two honorable missions that didn't make my top five that I have. And the only other dunk I think that I didn't get this year that dropped that I wanted, non-SB, would be those Nike Special Project or Premium Edition Corks from Clot. Clot came out with two dunks, like a what the clot, and then they also came out with the cork pair. I think those was the last two pairs that was gonna come out from clot with Nike. And I really like the cork pair with the interchangeable swooshes and different laces. I might go back and get that one. The what the pair I don't particularly care for. And yeah, that's my top three honorable mentions that didn't make my top five. Like I said, I have those two dunks right there. I like them. They just didn't make the cut, which is all good. Coming in at number five for me of top five non-SB dunks of 2023 would be, I guess I could do some drum roll, here's some paper, but here's the Red Pandas. I like these a lot. A dunk that is not a panda, like that white and black thing, but an actual animal, which is a Red Panda that's native to China or Asia. And I thought these was pretty clean. I had some quality control issues on my pair, but I enjoy that they have some sway right there on the back. I enjoy the colors. I feel like you can rock it really well in the fall, late summer. Like I said, that was a little blemish right there. I can get my finger on it. Maybe I can't. But I thought these were super clean. Like I said, it looks just like the animal. This one, that little fuzzy material, I rock with. I rock with the 3M that you get on the tongue. I like this shoe a lot. If you already think I'm bugging and this shouldn't make my top five, you would have put the Montreal bagels or the going fishing, salmon, trout, rainbow drinks in front of this. Y'all let me know. But this is my number five, very clean pair. Another pair that I think you can get for relatively cheap. Probably half of these are going under $200, which is I think a good price point for shoes. That's my number five. Number four for me, but I've been waiting to get these for about two years now, are the Dusty Olives. I like these a lot, okay? So like this number, this, these numbers are subjective. Am I happy I got these? Yes. Did I pay resale for these? Yes. I still got them under 200 bucks. Why is someone playing outside when I started the video? My issue with this is the quality control on it was so bad. So it's like double suede all over the shoe, right? And I probably said for the last three years, this is a TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles style shoe. I call these the Michelangelo's. I love this shoe and I love green. So I could theoretically have this at number three, but the quality control on my pair and a couple of my friends pair was lackluster and that's unfortunate. So this is gonna get four for me. I'm happy I have it because it goes well with the rest of my, I don't even, ugly duckling pairs. I have veneers, ceramic, and these now. 
All I need is plums. And I hope to obtain those in 2024 whenever we come out. That is number four for me. Dusty Olives, let's hop into number three. Number three was a surprise treat to plenty this year. I know some SB fiends, I know some SB dunk lovers that probably has this as their non, number one non SB dunk of the year. I can't go that far. Only because I did get it, but it didn't hold as much weight as my number two and my number three. These are the tweed corduroy or the gentleman dunks, the gentleman dunks. This is the dress up and go out on date night with some dunks on. If they gave this SB tool in, I'm sure people would have had this in their top three SBs of the year. Because like I said, Plenty has it in their top three or top two or one regular dunk of the year. The colors, very subtle, reminiscent of the fall. You get some tweed, some corduroy, some different grades on it. This shoe hits. Like I said, if it had SB materials, it would probably be majority of people's favorite dunk of the year. Which is nuts. I don't care about the force that came with this. So, no one, I mean, I just, I don't wear up towels anymore for real. So, that's where we're at. This is an awesome shoe, though. Surprise, it did knock Dusty Olives out of my top three. Also, Dusty Olives came out a couple years ago, but they redropped this year. That's why they're in this list. If you're mad about that, then knock them out, put this up higher, and throw in one of the other ones. Coming in at number two. And this was tough. But I'm only putting this, I think, at number two because this is technically one of those, like, redraws. So this dunk came out technically in 2022, but we really didn't get it in majority of the stations in the 2023. And I've been waiting for them for about a year, a year and a half now, or whenever I ended up getting this dunk. So that's the only reason why I'm not putting it as number one, but it could very well be number one on this list. That is the Sescubans. Sescubans. I don't know. I've had the shoe for like six, seven months now, and I still can't pronounce it. Couldn't pronounce it in the review either. Like I said, all these dunks that I'm showing you, I've definitely reviewed on the channel. Not like my SV video where I didn't review all of those yet. These are super clean. Got some heritage behind it. It's about that seasonal joint in Japan. When you're beginning of spring, I believe, when you're warding off demons. That's why you get the little demon emoji, samurai emoji back here. The imprint, super nice. And like I said, my favorite two colors are purple and green. So this is absolutely fire to me. I love getting purple dunks. Typically purple shoes, I don't know why cost more maybe because we don't get a lot of them but this has crack leather suede and some more i really like this shoe a lot the differences in crack leathers the differences in suede and muted colors somehow this is another nice fall shoe maybe all the good fall dunks are like the ones that i went after but this is super clean i also love that they gave you purple laces when i wear those i'm gonna put purple laces in them that is my number two my number one and that's my number two interestingly very Asian inspired. No problems with me. I'm a, I'm a cool dweeb. I guess I watch my anime. Yo, I'm him. Number one to me. These cold Japan joints. These cold Japan snakeskins. Like I said, uh, basically Setsukuban was supposed to set me up for last year with like a Japanese shoe, and then this cold Japan snakeskin joints are supposed to be this year's. Asian theme Nike dunk or whatever, but this joint absolutely hits snake skin all around You get brown for part of your overlays You get two-tone colored laces sail in red or black and red You get snake skin leather on the back right there This shoe is tough. So you know people like all those muted colors and like all the browns and the fair guy and the Travis's and part of those Yeezys. I'm surprised <laughs> Excuse me <coughs> got me choked up i'm surprised people aren't talking about these more and whatever the case may be with the brown and the black and red or just like thinking of red and what it does to jordans i like that there's some splash of red on this dunk right here i think these have to take the cake for me like i said i know a lot of people who's going to put the tweed joints as their number one but these right here man are super super tough that's my top five. Like I said, majority of these besides probably Dusty right now, Sescubon, and these probably all go under 200 bucks. So you can go get a pair and not have to break the bank. Y'all let me know in the comments below what's your top five non-SB dunks of the year. And let me know if any of these you would put over maybe some of the most popular SBs of the year because I'm not mad at you. I got them all. Pokemon Vice, 
think you see got a couple mall vibes. It's my number one. Surprising, like I said, I thought that I thought this might be number one, but I went ahead and went with this one. So y'all let me know. Like I said, check out my top five SB video. I'm gonna do my top 10 shoes of the year, which will probably incorporate some phone posits, or some new balances or something else. I don't have five new balances to do a top five new balance video. And I don't think I cop any Adidas shoes or any other brand not named Nike and that one new balance pair, or two new balance pairs of the year. Kind of crazy. But until the next video, I'm gonna holla at y'all. Bye bye. Let me know how I did. These are tough. Bye bye. And they're basically, well, they are brand new. I've only tried them on for my review, so they clean.